Hi, this is James, and I'm here with the Oracle Outlook for the week starting October the 10th, 2016. This week I'm doing a tarot card reading, and the deck that's assisting me for this week's reading is the Angel Tarot cards. They are by Doreen Virtue, Rally Valentine, Steve A. Roberts, and published by Hay House. So I have the deck on the table, and I'm taking the cards, and I'm going to be shuffling them. And just as I do with every one of my weekly general readings, the intention, which is the question, is basically what do we need to know for the week ahead that's going to be helpful, that's going to be insightful, that's going to be beneficial as we move through the experiences of the week. And I invite you as I'm shuffling the cards to ask for a similar intention for yourself and pay attention to the cards that come up and as I'm talking about them consider your own thoughts, feelings, impressions if you're familiar with the tarot your own interpretations because that will make the reading more personal for you and where you are at in your life right now take a moment and shuffle my other way feeling like one more time will be good Great. now I'm going to cut the deck and reassemble the piles and I'm feeling led this week just to pull the top three cards. So the first card off the top of the deck is going to represent what we might need to know or consider for the beginning of the week. The second card will represent what we might need to know or consider for the middle of the week. And then the last card will round out the line and what we might need to know or consider for the end of the week. So those are the cards. I'm going to put the rest of the deck aside. And so turning to the first card, our first card for the week is the Ten of Air. So I'll hold the card up, Ten of Air. And for me, the Air suit here represents the Suit of Swords. So Ten of Air or the Ten of Swords can represent something coming to an end. It usually represents something being finalized. And once this is completed, once this is finalized, it's like the end of a chapter and you can't go back and uh, reopen that up. It can't, once it's closed, it's closed, or once it's ended, it's ended. The card reads, the end of a difficult situation, embrace the change and expect things to get better now, recovering from an addiction. So again, it just represents, like I said, something coming to an end, something being finalized, something being completed. For me, the Ten of Swords represents, um, I always have the Madonna song in my head, um, Take a Bow. So it can represent like, the show is over, say goodbye, that's a line from the song. And it could just represent, for people who are going through a dramatic situation or a very challenging situation, this card can represent, again, getting to the point where you make the decision, because the suit of air, or the suit of swords, is about problem solving and decision making, and in connection to lifestyle or lifestyle choices, that you get to the point where you're making the decision, conscious decision, that you are over, you are tired of the drama in your life. So this is a, at the beginning of the week, we may be taking a look at the dramas in our life, both literal and figurative, and maybe the people who are participating in those dramas. We call them drama kings and queens. So taking a look at those and saying, do I really want that kind of drama in my life? Or do I want people in my life who bring nothing to my life but drama? And so this is about like, um, if your life was like a TV show, this would be like the young and the restless and you're choosing to turn off the TV because you had enough of the drama. So that's it. It could also to represent for people who are in this situation, because I'm looking at the word addiction at the bottom. So whether it's a, an actual addiction or a, a more metaphorical addiction, we're taking a look at that. Sometimes with this card, it suggests like, hitting rock bottom with whatever that addiction is. And then once you hit bottom, there's only one way up. Uh, there's only one way to go, and that's up. So it could be like people who are maybe in a similar way hitting rock bottom. And now this is a time to rise up. It could also be too, like if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling limited, if you're feeling like 
there's no other way to go, then this card can represent coming at the beginning of the week, like you're making the transition and that it's like the dawning of a new day. So I'm seeing that. I'm taking a step back and asking what else do I need to see about this card. It could also be that at the beginning of the week, because I'm shooting this prior to Hurricane Matthew, which is uh, on track to be moving through Florida and where I'm at, I'm in South Carolina and moving up the coast of the Carolinas before going back out to sea, at least that's the way it's tracking right now, then this card could be, we're inviting people as a collective consciousness to hold prayer, hold space for those who are being impacted or affected by the effects of Hurricane Matthew. And that will be by the time um, you may land on this video, that would be the beginning of the week because it's supposed to be affecting um, Florida and the Carolinas throughout the weekend. So this would be the beginning of the week, holding those who may be um, hit and hit hard, um, holding them in, in prayer and um, holding them with thoughts of recovery from that um, possible devastation. So I'm seeing that as a possibility with the Ten of Air. So I'm asking what else do I need to say about this card before moving on. I'm feeling like that's it. I think for as a general collective, it's about moving through whatever we feel stuck or limited by and and rising above that we may be getting information because the suit of air is about information getting information or guidance about how to move through that and the illustration has unicorns on it so the unicorns can represent keeping positive intentions so that's key the only way things can change positively is about taking a look at the intentions that you're having with your thoughts if the intention is worry and fear then you create experiences based on that um, if you hold uh, the best and highest good for everyone involved, if you hold the best possible intentions, then um, experiences are created out of that kind of energy. So I'm seeing that. And as a connection to Archangel Michael, um, this is a time where if we're having thoughts of fear, if we're having thoughts of worry, take a moment, send to yourself, and ask Archangel Michael to cut the cords to any worry or fear connected to whatever your experience is. So you could say, Archangel Michael, I invite you to cut the cords of fear and worry in regard to and whatever your situation is and then say thank you and believe it to be done. So that's 10 of air. Moving to the middle of the week, we have three of earth. So hold the card up, three of earth. So the card reads, the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work and be a team player. So if we go with the idea here about people who have been impacted and affected by Hurricane Matthew, the Three of, Air, three of Earth, excuse me, rather, could be a card that can represent um, um, repairing damage. So it could be like, and since Earth represents the physical, the tangible, it could be like in the middle of the week, people are exploring ways to... Um, repair damages that's been done. So this could be damage done to their physical property, things of that nature. Um, the Three of Earth is also a self-employment card, so it could be maybe not personal um, property, but maybe business or employment property. So this could be like a self-employment venture. So it could be like people who are business owners taking a look at your business properties to see if there's any damages that need to be repaired. So I'm seeing that. The other thing about the Three of Earth, the Three of Earth is a, is a card that can represent maybe the focus for some people moving in regards to their career and moving forward in that. If that is the case, if that resonates with you, then this card is encouraging you to kind of go with what it is that you have built a reputation for. So if you're kind of in that space of wondering what it is that you, you want to be self-employed and you're wondering what do I do in that arena, consider what it is that you have a reputation for. What do people know you for being or know you for doing? And see how you can maybe parlay that into a business venture. I'm seeing that. I'm looking at the card and I'm looking, there is a butterfly on the card a very prominent image of a butterfly. And so butterflies represent, again, this transition that we talked about with the Ten of Air is being highlighted here. This is like the other end of the transition. So you've gotten through the transition and now you're this big, beautiful butterfly. So it represents um, the change that comes as a result of that transitional phase or period. And I'm looking 
at the card again and I'm seeing three fairies on the card. So fairies are nature's angels and they also support us when we're wanting to manifest things in the physical world or we need material support. So it could be that in the middle of the week if you're deciding that the drama is over, that you're closing a chapter in your life and you want to start the next chapter, then if you resonate with working with fairy energy, you can call on the fairies to assist you with bringing the resources that you would need that's going to help you grow, that's going to give you the results that you need because a number three here is a number of growth and results. So I'm seeing that as the energy here. It could also be that someone is going to be gaining some kind of recognition in their field because I'm looking at the scenery and it's an outdoor scene and so sometimes this card can be about recognition being gained for what one does. So I'm seeing that so somebody could be gaining some recognition for what it is that they want to be doing. If you have a plan, going back to the tenant air, if you have a plan to move forward and whether this is a business or a personal thing, but if you have a plan to move forward, seeing the three of earth is a very encouraging sign because it represents implementing your plan or following through on your plan. So this is encouragement here with the three of earth. I'm taking a step back and taking a look to see if there's anything else I need to say about this. Now I'm feeling complete with that. So now I'm going to move to the end of the week. And here we have, I love this card, here we have a major arcana card and it's Justice. So Justice is a card that can represent being in a position where you are needing to make a, a choice or a decision. So come the end of the week, it could be making an important choice because major arcana cards carry with it the energy of important events or important issues. So here we have Justice, and justice represents making a well-informed choice. So you're being asked to, whatever your situation is, by the end of the week, you're being asked to look at it from all possible sides and angles. You're being asked to weigh the pros and the cons. So when I see this, it may be like you literally get out a sheet of paper and you run a line down the center and you put pros and you put cons and whatever the issue is that you need to make a decision about you write down all the pros that would be with making the choice and all the cons that you can see in the moment related to that choice and you see which carries the more weight is there a greater sense of pros is there a greater sense of cons also too if there are a, a huge amount of pros let's say and you still have some cons then it could be you getting to look at how can I minimize or how can I reduce the cons in the situation or how can I work through the cons so I have a greater likelihood of success with this choice or decision or whatever the choice or decision is around that situation. The other thing with justice, justice can represent doing the right thing. So I'm seeing that. Now if we're talking about the effects of the storm for some people involved in that, it could be a matter of seeking either government, federal, um, or local aid because this card can represent things having to do with um, local municipalities, federal municipalities, governmental uh, municipalities, excuse me, something of a federal nature. So it could be like people receiving federal aid if they were um, impacted by the storm in a severe way. So I'm seeing that as a possibility. The other thing, because this card carries with it Archangel Raguel, Archangel Raguel's name means friend of God and he's one of the angels of justice. When Archangel Raguel is called upon, his energy can help bring peace and harmony, and if there's been any discord, going back to the energy of the Ten of Swords, possibly having to do with um, drama kings and queens, and it could be as a result of maybe feeling a sense of either suspicion around a person, feeling betrayed, feeling lied to, that kind of energy, then justice could be the energy of what would you need to know or do to have a harmonious resolution to that challenging relationship. It could be involving a mediator. So if a person's going through a split, a breakup, a divorce, something of that, could be like getting a neutral because the energy of justice is about being impartial or neutral. So getting a, a neutral third party involved who whose only intention going back to the unicorns on the ten of air and positive intentions, whose only intention is for the best and highest good for everyone involved. Doesn't carry any biases, doesn't have any hidden agendas, doesn't lean towards one side or the other, is 
only intention is for the um, best and highest good for everyone involved in the situation. It could also be too, like if you're feeling um, called to make a decision of some kind, that you hold that space too, that um, you're holding the space for the best and highest good for everyone involved, and that would include you, but the best and highest good for everyone involved. It's about making a fair and just decision for all parties. So if you're feeling challenged with that, you can call upon Archangel Raguel to help you with that. So I'm taking a look again at the card, seeing if there's anything else I need to say about it. So I don't know if I read it, so if I did, I'm going to read it again. The card says, fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right and stand up for your beliefs. And so that is justice for the end of the week. So I will conclude this week's reading here at this point. So I want to thank you for joining me for this week's Oracle Outlook. I'm Jameson Mitchell, and as I sign off, I want to wish you a wonderful day. I hope you have a tarotastic week. And until we get together in our next video, take care.